hey, hey, welcome to Capra's Kitchen yet again. I am making a beautiful risotto because guys, I'm starving for some home cooked food. And the best representation for me, I am from Cremona. You know, a risotto is always something that really gets to my heart, okay? And I wanna make a risotto that is from Mantova, and it's called Risotto La Pilota. Pilota is a pilot. In the old days, pilots would fly over the fields of rice and spray it, and when they were done, they would go for lunch and they would have rice and uh, sausage. Just risotto with sausage, as simple as it is. Imagine that, okay? So onion, rice, sausages, a little bit of wine, chicken broth, cooking already, copious amount of grana padano, mi raccomando, copious amount of grana padano. Very important for this, use it. I like to put a little bit of garlic in my, in my risotto, I don't know why, but I like little pieces like this, very, very fine. You remember Goodfellas, when Polly is in jail and he's cutting the garlic with a the, with the razor blade because he melts away? That's exactly what you're looking for. Onions, super fine. In a risotto, you should never be able to see the onion. As fine as you can take it. I mean, you could puree it, but I don't like to brutalize food like that. It's nice to give it a nice cut with a knife. A little olive oil, garlic and onions right in there. Let's go to the stove. Let's pick up all our ingredients and let's get moving. Olive oil is good, but I come from butter. So butter is better. My veins contain butter, about 80%. So we need to cook the onions off and we need to cook them until the, all the gases from the onions have dissipated. So when you start smelling the sweetness in the onion and you have that obnoxious gas that an onion normally has, that's when you know you got it right. So cooking away. I don't know if you can smell this, but see, that's all the gases of the onion. And now it's gonna transform itself into a nice, nice sweet caramelization of the onion without giving a color. Don't give it any color. Now this, grains or rice, they will take about 15 to 17 minutes maximum, okay? If you're cooking rice for 45 minutes, you're gonna have congee. Man, I love congee. Ooh, I love congee, yeah, beautiful. Sausage, I'm gonna peel it, you know? The most un-Italian thing to do is to take a cooked sausage, slice it up and then put it on uh, in, a, in the food. You always break sausages. You rake it up into little bitty pieces, okay? This is a great little Italian sausage style. It's made in Quebec. It's not bad. It's very sticky. I don't know why. So little bitty pieces. And then when I saute it, I'm gonna break it up. I want it all broken. I want the, the sausage to be in as many pieces as I, I have grains of rice. The flavor, the sausage has flavors in it, right? It's got salt, pepper, it's got the spices. Uh, sometimes cinnamon, it's got wine, it's got uh, clove, sometimes even uh, star anise, you know, allspice. Depending on what region of Italy you're at, you find the many, many styles of sausages everywhere in Italy. So you want it all broken as much as possible. There you go. Now we're gonna add the rice, okay? One handful per person should do, okay? So I'm gonna put three. See that? Break it, break it, break it. Keep breaking the sausage. You don't want big chunks. So we are toasting the rice. We are making the rice hot. Okay, there was no liquid in here, all right? So the rice hasn't started cooking yet. Right now, the rice is sealing itself. So you're basically, you're toasting the rice because when it cooks, it's gonna stay whole. Beautiful looking grain, nice and clean, not, not uh, not messy, you know, otherwise the rice is gonna break up in all the different parts and then it scratches your palate and that's not good, okay? It becomes like what my father used to call grossy. The one, the one thing you wanna hear when you add wine is the evaporation. That's what you wanna hear. And don't add too much. Adding too much wine, you inject too much acidity from the wine itself is not that good. Now, the other important thing is the chicken stock. This is a beautiful chicken broth. And how do you judge a good chicken broth? You see all the eyes over there? That's little bubbles of fat is made with real chicken. This is what you want in a broth on, you know? Just put it in a little bit. See, 
But the thing is, when you make a risotto, the broth has to be hot because the rice, boom, seals immediately. And it gives you the beautiful coating on the rice that makes it smooth to the palate. But make sure that all the rice is covered with the broth because if it's not covered with the broth, it's not, the rice is not cooking. I don't know how many times I've said that, but you know what, there are so many imbeciles out there telling all kinds of bullshit stories. It's driving me nuts. Already, you see the starches from the, the rice, how, how creamy they're making it already? I'm gonna add a little bit more broth, boom. And then uh, I'm gonna have a drink. Look at that, see? That's a beauty. Okay, this is the last little bit of broth that we put in. Yeah, boom. Yeah, this is a lid. Count to 60 or a minute if it's faster for you. That is a very important thing to do with risotto. You know, when you steam them and then you fluff them up and leave them alone so that they just recompose themselves, you know, it's absolutely essential. Okay, you see how it is? Look at the risotto. Okay, so we're gonna add the butter. We put a little bit of cheese, okay, just like that. The most important thing is the whippet. And this is the mantecatura. Okay, so basically we are injecting air into the pan so that it becomes lighter and fluffier. Okay, boom, done. Risotto, you serve it in a cold flat plate because the heat is extreme if you wanted to eat it right away. We eat it with a fork. My wife likes to use a spoon, but then again, she's Venetian. It's her problem. I like it like this. Mm. And I don't like my rice to be too dry. I want it a little bit moist. The best quality ingredients will give you the best quality food. This is our mantra here at Capper's Kitchen. We don't skimp on anything. So don't forget that. At home, do the same thing. Go away now, leave me alone with my rice.